Since the release of Windows 8, OEM product keys from major vendors such as Dell, Lenovo, HP have embedded system locked pre installation keys within the UEFI BIOS. This means the product key cannot get lost or separated from the motherboard and cannot fade like previous Windows 7 COAs. And Microsoft have followed user feedback to make a multi-edition Windows 10 Redstone 1 ISO, which automatically inputs these UEFI BIOS system locked pre-installation keys, automatically selecting the correct edition upon installation. So this makes 99.99% of the OEM user base happy. There are a few users, however, which have a separate retail license, for instance, or a Windows Insider Windows 10 Pro device, and they want to install a different edition to their OEM system locked pre-installation key. So let's demonstrate first a system which has a UEFI by system locked pre-installation key. So we're just booting from the Windows 10 Redstone 1 bootable USB which is set up for installation for a UEFI BIOS. So it's using the GPT partition scheme and it's FAT32 formatted. So you'll see that basically I was taken straight to the license agreement screen. So I had absolutely no choice on the edition of Windows 10 that I wanted to install. To give me a choice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an ei.cfg configuration file to the sources folder. To make this ei.cfg file, I need to open up Notepad. So to the first line, I'm going to type channel in square brackets. And then in the next line, I'm going to type in underscore default. And then in the next line, I'm going to type vl in square brackets, this stands for volume license. And in the last uh, line, I'm going to type in zero, which means that I don't have a volume license. So what I want to do now is I want to go to file and then select save as. And to the bottom, I must change save as type to all files. And I'm going to name this file EI cfg so I'll just save it in documents for just now and I'll open up my documents folder and it'll snap it to the left and I'll open up the bootable USB and it'll snap it to the right So this EI.cfg file needs to be copied over to the sources folder. So we see it's there and we're happy now. And what we're going to do now is essentially boot off this bootable USB once again. So let's select this USB flash drive. Again, secure boot is enabled, and this is the same system as earlier on. And we're going to select English United Kingdom, and we're going to select install now. So this is the part that essentially took us straight to the license agreement screen before. Now, instead of my Windows 8.1 Pro product key automatically being input and me going straight to the license agreement screen, I have the options to install all the editions of Windows 10 on the installation media. So I could install a lesser edition such as Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Home Single Language. Don't know why I would do this. Or I could install something like Windows 10 Education, if I have a Windows 10 Education key. And now we'll be taken to the Windows 10 Education License Agreement screen. 
Now, unfortunately, the license agreement screen doesn't state the edition of Windows that you're installing. With this wee trick, you can therefore override the UEFI by a system lock pre-installation key and install the edition of Windows 10 that you desire.